Hi, my name is Chris Hunt, and I'm graduating with an MA in Political Studies. Well, I'll say I picked U of M for you know, two reasons. One was a good one, and one was not so good. I went to Ukraine in 2017 as part of the Army Reserve, and I got to really practice being part of international relations. When I came back from that, I wanted to further my education in international relations. I was looking for a program. But I also bought a home, you know, fiancé, and was setting down roots in Manitoba. So I wanted to stay close to home. I picked U UM, but then I met with Dr. James Ferguson. We had a chat before I applied, and I knew this was the right program for me. I was excited by the rigor he brought, his enthusiasm for the field, and his potential as a mentor. And so I knew I had to sign up. And that's why I came here, and I'm happy to have been able to have him as my thesis supervisor and graduate uh, with him. I'm proud to say that I got the J.W. Defoe Foundation's Fellowship for the Study of International Relations. And that's a competitive scholarship that's worth some good money, and that was very helpful for me, and I'm really appreciative of that. And I also appreciate not just the money, but the faith they had in me as a researcher. I completed my program overlapping with COVID, and there was some self-doubt, some mental health stuff there as well. And having their trust and support was a big inspiration and encouragement for me. So I'm working in student affairs right now, and I'm also looking to possibly teach at my alma mater in strategic studies, my field. And that way I can kind of send the elevator down and contribute to the next generation. I'm also going to further my research both in my thesis area, some applied fields, and I'm even working with applying some of what my international relations research might mean for things like Canada-US historic relations and what role, say, the Dakota played in that in Southwest Manitoba. I'm going to a conference on that in June, so I'm very excited for that. So my favorite memory here, it's tough to pick because my time at UM was fantastic. What I have to say is probably Dr. James Ferguson's class. Uh, Jim basically ran the strategic studies class for myself and you know, four of my fellow cohort mates. And it was everything I could have asked for in a graduate course. Basically, and it's going to sound like a lot, but it was really fun, was that each of us would read a book and we would assign the readings for our classmates, come together and talk about it. If your book, if you were up first, your uh, book was up, what you would do is you you would be the person leading, you would sit back and listen. And then when we got to the point where we thought we had it all figured out, we're smart folks, we got it, you would drop just a simple question that would stun us all, we would be shocked, we couldn't answer it, even though we knew, oh, we should know the answer. And he would just duck out for a bit, come back, and then he would lead us through that. And what I loved about that class is that every time I felt that my intellectual ability, my ability to think, kept getting pushed further and further and further. And I, I don't, I'm confident in saying that I think as clearly as I do now, Thank you, his class. You know, I met Jim um, the Halloween day, actually, before I applied to the program, trying to suss out, well, what would we be like as an um, advisor, as a mentor, what's the program like? And then talking to him, I knew from his passion, his experience, and his combination of um, encouragement with a little bit of an edge would be perfect for me to get the push to do something great. And that really did play out when he advised me through my thesis. Like I said before, I had some bumps on the road, as a lot of students do, and he was always exactly what was needed. He's like the perfect paragon example of what it means to be an MA advisor in arts. Sometimes if I needed a little encouragement, I was down in the dumps, he would have some praise, he would explain how it's difficult, he would examples, and sometimes if I was being a little lazy, you know, he would give me a little bit of a kick in the butt, and uh, if I was being a little grandiose, he would use those questions and pop the bubble a little bit and bring me down to earth. And because of that, I was able to complete my thesis, Past no corrections, I think I did a work I'm very proud of doing. And that's in no small part of our thanks to Jim.